Now I started off by taking the succulent plants and removing the top because it's actually artificial plants so you can do this and to make it easy for me to spray paint the body gold. I just use a bag here and I'm just going to cover up the inner side so that the gold spray paint doesn't go inside. This is option one. Then option two, you can just remove the foam easy like this. And then I spray paint them outside. And now I'm going to be putting back the plants inside by using a hot glue gun first to make sure that I secure the plants in place. These are blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I spray painted five gold and I will be gluing them onto the containers for the plants. After that, I glued it onto the middle of the mirror and I did that for all five of them. The next thing that I did was to take two glasses that I detached from the certificate frames. And before we go any further, these are angled braces that you can use if you're not comfortable with the corners. And now I took E6000 and a hot glue gun to glue down the wood that I'm going to be using to join both glasses together. I glued on more wood at the two top ends for hanging on the wall and then more wood to secure it properly in the middle. This is the back of the certificate frame and I'm going to be using the hooks for hanging. Now this is for me, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can use command strips. I added wood at the lower corners of the design to make sure that it stays flushed when it's hanged on the wall. Now I turned it over and I'm going to be making sure that all of the designs are going to be covering the wood that I glued at the back. When I was sure that all the designs fit in place, I glued them down with an E6000 glue and left it overnight to dry. I forgot to mention that because I used two glasses together, it's not so strong if you don't put enough glue. So please put enough strong adhesive and a lot of it and leave it overnight to dry. Now you can avoid all this by just using one long plain glass. I hanged it on the wall and I am so pleased with the turnout. This was so easy to make and it's an inexpensive gift idea. This is such a unique wall decor because you have the plants on the mirror and then the mirrors on the glass. And then at nighttime, you can always put in your tea light candle holders on top of the blocks. And this is what it looks like. And then you wake up in the morning to another bright view of your wall decor. I got this garden fence, planters, word stickers from the Dollar Tree. And then this mirror reflective paper, I got it online. Now I'm also going to be using two craft sticks, zip ties, and the full list of all the items used will be in the description box below. I started off by cutting the pointed inserts that's on the garden fence. Now this is a spare that I will not be using. So I need more of the pointed tips for the other planters that I'll be making. I'll need four for all the planters at the bottom side and two for each. So here I'm just measuring it out to see if it's equal and cutting out any excess before gluing it on. And I will be gluing, or should I say attaching it, with my soldering iron. I will be using this soldering iron to put in the two rubbers together or two plastic together. Now this works perfectly fine. Now if you don't have this, you can use a hot glue gun and any 6000 glue just to keep it in place and leave it overnight to dry. But if you're going to use a soldering iron, please wear a face mask. And if you're not comfortable with this, please ask for help. keep it uniform I added one more here and then I repeated the same thing for the other garden fence so two of the garden fences would have two 
on each, making four. And the third one that will be at the top will have just two. I took it outside and I spray painted it silver. And now all I'm going to be doing is carefully folding it. I'm going to be doing it carefully since it's plastic. And then I will use this provision here to lock it in. And then I got this planters and the bottom shape is perfect for it. This is the third one. And as you can see, it's got just two pointed tips. Now all I'm going to be doing is putting all three down to see how I'm going to be attaching them together. I'll be using zip ties to hold them in place. This is not permanent just yet. I'm still trying to see how this would work and if it's going to be stable. Like I said, this is not permanent just yet. So I'm just going to keep it aside until I'm done with the planters to see if it's going to hold. Now these are the planters and I will be using this board. And as you can see, it's straight. So I'm going to curve it just a bit so it sits properly on the planter. I'll be putting one in front and one at the back. I will be cutting this mirror reflective paper to the size of the board that I just cut out. And then I'm going to stick it on together and it's so easy to use because it's self adhesive. I did this so that the lines that's on the board would show to make it look like it's a tin can. Now I'll be taking the sticker and placing it a little bit above the middle. I made one with the sticker and one without the sticker. And the one with the sticker will be in front and glued at the top to cover up the write up. And this one will be at the back. At this point, I would like to say that this is totally optional. If you don't like this, then you don't have to do it. I mean, some people prefer the write-up that's there. So yeah, I decided to just close it up. I did that for all three planters. This is what it looks like. I held them in place with the zip ties and used the 6000 glue there and left it overnight to dry. These are silver plastic spoons for dessert that I will be using to cover up the lines that I have that's at the outer parts of the write-up that I used. I did that for all three and I put flowers inside. I also used spoons to decorate the plant stand. I spray painted two craft sticks silver and this is what I'm going to be using to cover up the points where all the plant stands were connected. I tried using spoons but it wasn't pretty so I had to use craft sticks. Now this design was made because it's going to be inserted into sand or grass of some sort that's for a greenhouse. Now because I don't have a greenhouse and I'm going to be needing this, I'm going to be using artificial plants. So I put in artificial plants in there because they're light. Now, but if you're going to be using real plants, I would strongly advise that you cut out the legs at the bottom so it stays flat on the floor for better balance. I really love the way this turned out and I am so glad that I picked up the request to make a three-tier plant stand for a greenhouse using Dollar Tree items. I started with a three-inch board and 18 lines inside of it and then I made another inner circle as my guide when I will be gluing down the skewers.
When I had all the 18 skewers on the 18 lines glued down, I then took more skewers and I glued them in between each and every one of the openings. After that, I glued on mirrors at the top, bottom, left and right and I drew out this shape and I cut it out and this is going to be my guide to form a curve when I will be gluing down the mirrors. I used this technique for the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. I will be filling out the outer curve with a silver plastic spoon. When I was done to this point, I flipped the design over and then I will be using more skewers in between each and every one of the openings and gluing them on the mirrors because I didn't want to let the skewers go right from the middle. That's just me, but if you like, you can actually make your skewers go right from the middle. I wanted the middle to be a little bit empty or open and then fuller at the outer corners. I was done using the hot glue gun, I used an E6000 glue all around just to make sure that it comes out strong. I turned the design over again and then I'm going to be filling up the skewers with more spoons. When I was done up to this point, you can see that it doesn't flush, so I needed to add more spoons just to make sure that it flushes along with the other outer mirrors. And I did this by gluing down the spoons halfway onto the other ones, just so that it actually makes a round shape. And then also to create a certain bend or a curve at the outer corners. You can see the curve and that adds to the design. And now I repeated the same step and filled out the outer curves for the remaining spaces. Because of the nature of the design, I turned it to the back and I added more glue just to secure it enough. And then I used one of the hooks from one of my Dollar Tree mirrors to hang it on the wall. I also glued on the gems at the outer corners of the mirror in the middle. I love the look of this mirror because it looks simple and yet so elegant. The request came in insisting on smaller mirrors and spoons but on a uniquely different design. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.